Uh, John, does the President think that Israel's plan to oust Hamas is achievable militarily? The President believes, because he's seen it uh, on, our, on, on, our, on our own, uh, on the efforts to go after ISIS and after al-Qaeda, that it is absolutely possible, through military and other means, to disrupt and degrade, if not decimate, a terrorist network's ability to resource itself, to plan, to operate and execute attacks. Um, we're not going to, again, uh, characterize or analyze publicly uh, Israeli war plans. They should be the ones speaking to that. Right now, they are focused on putting pressure on Hamas leadership, specifically in Gaza City. Um, and they are pursuing that through military means. And again, we're doing everything we can to help them. How important is a ti the timeline to that belief that this is achievable? Um, and the reason I ask is because of this polling um, that shows Americans are very deeply divided on Israel's um, counterattack. Only 36 percent said it's very important or extremely important to provide aid. 40% of Americans said the military response has gone too far, and among Democrats, that number is 58%. So is he at all concerned about backsliding in support for this mission among key constituencies of his base? As a leader who has been you know, deeply involved in the Middle East for much of his public life, he understands that there's a lot of complex history here, and he also understands that right now there's an awful lot of strong feelings on all sides uh, about what's going on right now. He appreciates that, um, but he's not going to he's not going to develop policy options here for the United States or administer our national security interests again, according to to polling data, which shifts and change. He's going to do it based on principles based on a firm belief in Israel's right to exist as a nation and the Israeli people uh, right to, to, to live in peace and security as well as the Palestinians. And that's going to govern how he, how he makes his decisions with respect to protecting our national interests, to include, Jackie, his firm belief that in the promise uh, of a two-state solution and how we can't abandon that. Can we send American troops into Gaza to get American there hostages? There are no plans to put American troops uh, on the ground in combat. Uh, in this fight, um, and uh, we are pursuing, uh, we are pursuing a, a series of steps, largely through negotiations, to get our hostages out.